All right, just want to say good morning to each and every one of you. I am Shane Stafford, the principal at Eden Elementary, and with me I have Miss Micah Davis, who teaches second grade, and Miss Wanda Kirk, who is handing out um, some of the handouts, uh, teaches first grade for us. Now, we are an ACT uh, school, which means that we did get the grant last year. This is the first year that we've had the grant. Uh, very excited about that, and that is simply activating catalytic transformation. Um, one of the things that the grant has provided us an opportunity to do is use an H ACT uh, team that we have created at Eden Elementary to kind of use as a vehicle for change within the school. Um, so as a team, when we first got this, uh, and we are still in the process, so this may change throughout, um, we looked at various data sets. Now we looked at attendance, we looked at uh, behavior, we also looked at the uh, achievement piece, and that is one that we're really trying to focus on. So as you can see from our uh, poster up here, we call it Wildcat Warrior Time. Now what that is, is that's going to be our RTI time and it's constantly evolving. One of the things that we've looking at, and we have actually some map data at the bottom, um, is that a large majority of our students are coming to grade level, so kindergartens are coming to first grade not ready for the instruction that they're getting there. First grade, so forth and so on. And if you look at our chart up here, you can actually see that by fourth grade, um, whenever we go into K prep testing for that second year, we actually see those numbers start to uh, kind of catch up to the statewide um, percentages and uh, that you see up here. So one thing that we're going to really focus on is our RTI program. So when we open that can of worms, what we see is that there's a lot of factors that kind of go into that. Um, of course, we looked at kindergarten readiness numbers for kindergartners coming in. We also look at the instructional piece and kind of what we're using. A big part that we feel is, is missing from our um, RTI program is consistency. So one thing that we are going there is, is looking at programs, looking at resources, and getting some consistency throughout that. Um, now this year is the first uh, year that we have been trying to engage New York. So that is something that we are doing from kindergarten through sixth grade. Um, so we're gonna be trying to see and making sure that we're analyzing the data as they come in um, to kind of see if that's helping kind of go in the right direction. Now. Also, another thing that we looked at is by polling and kind of talking to the staff during PLCs is that misconception of what RTI actually is. Now, we actually just recently went to a sixth grade, so we brought sixth grade back down to the elementary schools, which gave us about 100 more students in our building. So we're used to that uh, years past of having a small group of students, two to five students or, or eight, and one adult for that group. Now. We are such a large school, I think we have 450 students in our building um, and not as many staff, so we're having to actually rethink what RTI should look like within that classroom. Um, using guided reading is a great uh, initiative that we've actually began a couple years ago and we're seeing some great benefit out of that. So the students are actually getting leveled within that group and we're rotating through those. So like he said, we do have um, some RTI happening in our building now, but like he said, it is not consistent at all. We, K through two is doing one thing while our upper hallway is doing a different thing for RTI. And of course, having the name Wildcat Warrior makes the kids a little more excited than just hearing, oh, it's RTI time. So that makes it a little more exciting. Um, so what Wildcat Warrior time looks like in my second grade classroom is um, K through two all together is really focusing on math. Since we implement guided reading, uh, we feel like we are focusing more on reading than we get to on math throughout our day. So that is my focus in second grade. And since we have implemented Engage New York this year, one thing I use in my RTI time is Zern. I'm not sure if anyone's familiar with that program, but it is um, correlates exactly with Engage New York. The modules are the same. It has the kids start on module one. You can set them to be on the same module you are on that you're teaching in the class, or they 
they can just work at their own pace. So that way they're getting uh, the reteaching on modules that they may not have understood the first time. So it actually has a little guy that pops up on the screen. He reteaches the lesson for them. They have a note section where they have to take notes. They have to use these hands-on materials to actually work out the math problems. And um, although this is new and we are just starting, the kids really seem to enjoy it. They um, are all engaged, so um, we're really excited to see where we can go with this. Okay, so I'm going to talk about our short-term and long-term goals. Um, when we looked at our data, for math especially, we saw that 38% of our students are at or above the grade level proficiency for math, ready for instruction at that time. So we're hoping by winter that that will increase to 45% and then by spring to 50%. Our long-term goal is to have all of our students in reading and math at grade level, ready for instruction at grade level when they enter their grade, that they'll be ready for instruction at that time so that we don't have as many students in RTI or in the referral process. 